You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. Now outside of the brand new intro that you guys just saw that I have planned going into 2020, which I genuinely hope you guys enjoyed that fire, and a big shout out and thank you goes out to Official TDV for providing me with such fire, but there have been many fans within the Dragon Ball community that have been seemingly very excited and very hyped on the idea that this year's Jump Festa event is going to announce the potential return of the Dragon Ball Super anime and maybe the first major announcement and look at the upcoming Dragon Ball Super movie movie to in which we understand based on translators having to put out information on said events to in which these panels are going to be taking place on December 21st and December 22nd having to revolve around Super Dragon Ball Heroes, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Legends, and of course labeled as Dragon Ball Super the Anime. Now whatever that entails we don't know as of right now but it has something to do with the product of Dragon Ball Super and there are several things that I do want to touch up on on this video with you guys so I hope you guys watch until the very end because we are going to be touching up on several different things now again if you want to be up to date with everything dragon ball related then i do encourage you guys to subscribe to this channel turn on all notifications that way you guys can be notified whenever that video will be posted on this channel and if of course you guys are stoked ready and excited for a brand new dragon ball super movie and the potential anime return then give this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below now from the beginning we have another tweet from ryu horikawa the original japanese voice actor of Vegeta that was just posted on December 8th and when you translate it via Google Translate he went along to state I will prove that I am the strongest at Jump Festa 2020 watch at Jump Festa hashtag Vegeta hashtag Dragon Ball all that good stuff so that also implies that something will go down involving Vegeta's character whether that be something with the manga something with a potential movie or the show we don't know but Ryo Horikawa reassures us that he will prove once again why he is the strongest at Jump Festa coming up. Now, again, Ryo Horikawa had been basically teasing us now for quite some time on Twitter within the last few weeks, putting out tweets such as him having to reveal that he's the strongest and how he's very good to be in talks with Toei, so whatever comes out of this will come, but in the end, that doesn't prevent people from putting out supposed leaked images and leaked footage of what's going on behind the scenes within Toei, within the Dragon Ball room, and I received an email to which, as you guys can see on screen, I'm going to blur out the email and the person's name who sent me this, but they went along to tell me, and I quote, Hi, I have some information for the second part of the Dragon Ball Super franchise. I've got pictures of the upcoming series from the arc next to the moral arc. Sorry for my bad English, I don't speak too much of this language. Now, of course, these emails I take heavily with a grain of salt because a lot of people do do things for attention. I'm not saying that this person is doing this for attention, but when people People claim that they have information or leaks or footage or audio of something behind the scenes 95% of the time it is fake now this is something very interesting that I've seen that caught my attention because although to me the chances of this person actually sneaking in within Toei within the Dragon Ball room and taking pictures of things that he isn't really supposed to take pictures of is low sometimes in this day and age you'll never really know now to me in my honest opinion I think the following images having to be shown is fake to which as you guys can see the first image having to be shown on screen and it appears that we have Goku, Vegeta, Whis, and Broly on Beerus this planet right now again I want to remind you guys that everything you're seeing right now is fake it's not real or at least I believe so and if this ends up actually being a real thing and I was the first person to get a hold of this then 
I'll be damned because I don't think this is something genuine. But then again, like I said before, you'll never really know. So the primary reason as to why I am covering this is because if you guys start seeing pictures like this on Instagram, which tends to happen on Facebook, on Twitter, just know that if it doesn't come from me or any other credible source or specifically Toei Animation, Ryo Horikawa, King Uyoku, Masako Nozawa, Funimation, despite your feelings towards them, if it doesn't come from a source where they're credible and they have accurate information, then it's fake. And the only reason why I'm showing you this just to keep you guys on edge and letting you guys know if you start seeing things like this prior to Jump Festa, more than likely, then it's not real. But I find this very interesting in the idea that we have this quote unquote arc having to be revealed that showcases Goku, Vegeta, and Broly on Whis's planet, which I think is a very good thing and a really dope idea to have in the fact that Goku's finally bringing Broly along to assumingly train on Beerus's planet, but that's neither here or there. Now again, if you look at the little timestamp on top, it says 1203.25, so assumingly 12 minutes into this episode, who knows? I don't think it's a thing, but you'll never really know. But then, Interestingly enough, we have another image having to be shown. As you guys can see, another timestamp on the tippy top, which says 1206.33, which is about three minutes into this quote unquote episode. And we have Goku and Broly, right? Now, one thing that I have noticed about this image is Goku still has the galactic patrol symbol on his gi, right? Like he has it on his chest, which implies that perhaps maybe this takes place after Moro, who knows, right? And I don't think that anyone out there who is is connected with Toei Animation or whatnot has any sort of idea what's going to happen with Dragon Ball Super, which is why I think this is fake, because don't you think that perhaps if they did have anything involving the upcoming anime, then we would have something involving either the Broly movie having to be readapted or maybe the current events of the manga having to be retold in the form of an arc? Why in the world would they skip Broly and the moral arc just to jump into a concept like this, right? It doesn't make any sense. Imagine Imagine starting Dragon Ball Super back up with Goku having to wear Gi that has the galactic patrol symbol on his chest and nobody who doesn't follow the manga knows what's going on with this concept of Goku having to be there and Vegeta having to learn stuff from the Yard Rats and whatnot. So that doesn't make any sense, which is why I think that Moro is going to be animated. And for Broly, I'm not too sure, but of course this image portrays the idea that Broly's with Goku again. That is thinking way far ahead in the fact that Toei, if this were to be true, has already established plans after the Moro arc to include Broly, which as of this recording, we don't know if it's going to happen or not, but the implication is there that this person is leaking images that basically shows us that Broly is going to be with Goku, and I think it's fake. I think it's a really, really dope concept idea of whoever made this and replicating this narrative of having both of them on Planet Beerus basically getting ready to train. So again, if you start seeing things like this float around, it's not real. In my opinion, could it be? Absolutely. None of us actually bought into the idea that Frieza was going to come back during the Tournament of Power, and that ended up being true. Every single person in this community doubted the validity of Broly having a movie, and guess what? Broly came back, canon, and had his own movie. So anything is possible, but take it from me, these images having to be shown, I don't think are authentic. And one of the main reasons for that is because of the following image having to be shown on screen, which is directly from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And that is why I am warning each and every single one of you prior to Jump Festa to really pay attention to all of the supposed images and leaks going around. Because if I was able to pick up on the fact that this was taken from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie and redrawn in the form of a supposed leak with a timestamp, that just goes goes to show that these people are once again fooling everybody, and you guys need to take into account the official Twitters of Toei Animation and Shueisha, as well as any other credible source that you guys follow for accurate information in real leaks, real teasers, real trailers, and real footage from the possible return of the Dragon Ball Super anime, and perhaps maybe the announcement of the next Dragon Ball Super movie. Interestingly enough, on December 22nd, we're also going to be getting the final battle between Gogeta and Hearts in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, and given the status of them having to talk about the games and the Dragon Ball Super anime stage event. We're also expecting to see something from Super Dragon Ball Heroes, as of course you guys can see on screen. Not only are we going to see Gogeta in action against Hearts, but potentially we might get more information as to what they plan on doing next for the promotional anime of Super Dragon Ball Heroes. So if you're a fan of that, expect to see news announcements and the actual episode air on the 22nd in case you guys
guys are excited for that one. Now, to wrap this video up to give you guys my final thoughts, just in case you guys have missed out on the importance video that I made on Jump Festa 2020, I personally think that in my opinion, we're probably going to get information on the Dragon Ball Super movie, and could we possibly get any sort of announcement for the upcoming anime? Of course we can, but I really do feel, in my opinion, that if we get the movie and anime, that would be the absolute best news for all of us within the community, but I also think that, in my opinion, I think that they're going to take some time to work on the anime and continue to progress the manga, so that's why I think that they're going to announce the movie first, and then maybe if they decide to give us any additional information on the anime, that would be great too, but in the end, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, the timing as to when these events are going to happen really does vary because it's Japanese time, so that means we might get the news really, really late, and if we end up doing that, then I'm going to announce that on my Twitter and, of course, make a video updating you guys on whether or not we have any information on the movie, the anime, or both, or none if they decide to do that, but in the end, I want to know, are you guys excited? Are you guys really nervous that we may not get anything? Do you guys think that we're going to be getting the movie, the anime, or both, or none? I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your time, guys. Once again, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, slap a big fat like down below if, of course, you guys are excited, and more importantly, let me know in the comment section below about how you guys feel about these announcements and potential announcements on what may come or may not come. I want to get your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you all once more for your time, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys. Peace. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead. <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god. The fuck, Zabon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> boo, I'm a real gaming! But once you get video, I'll let some flanks! Or Boo will turn you to Jesse! Vados, get over here! Tell these mortals that I'm the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan! This is my moment! I'm a part of his notification squad! Universe 7 can have all the fun! I just want the food! And don't forget to leave a comment on this video! Show some love for the best community on YouTube! <laughs> K -k -k -k